Well, hello. I wanted to read you several passages out of an apology written by Justin Martyr. Justin Martyr's first apology. You can find this online. He wrote in approximately 165 CE and this is what he had to say about Jesus Christ. In defense of the Christian faith, mind you, when we say that the Word, who was the first birth of God, was produced without sexual union, and that He, Jesus Christ our Teacher, was crucified and died and rose again and ascended into heaven, we propound nothing different. Let me say that again. We propound nothing different from what you believe regarding those whom you esteem sons of Jupiter. Jupiter or Jove or Zeus. Are you getting the picture? These are mythological gods. Mythological gods. And he goes on to say, For you know how many sons your esteemed writers ascribe to Jupiter, Mercury, the interpreting word, Asclepius, who, though he was a great physician, was struck by a thunderbolt and ascended into heaven, Bacchus, Perseus, Belphron, who, although he sprung from mortals, rose to heaven on the horse Pegasus. And then he admits that many of the gods were just deified emperors. Emperors, human beings that simply died, and then there were stories written about them that they rose to heaven and then now they are gods. And he's admitting here that Jesus is no different than they are. We propound nothing different from what you believe regarding those whom you esteem sons of Jupiter. Then he goes on in the uh, next chapter, chapter 22 of his first apology. Moreover, the Son of God called Jesus, even if only a man by ordinary generation, yet on account of his wisdom, worthy to be called the sons of, Son of God, for all writers call God the Father of men and gods. So in other words, he's saying, we are the offspring of God, therefore it's not wrong to call Jesus the Son of God. <laughs> and if you reason with this, he's simply telling you that Jesus is no different than you or I. No different than you or I. And then he goes on and talks about how Christ was born of the Holy Spirit, whereas many of these other mythological figures were born in the story of Zeus coming down and actually having sex with a female. See, all they've done is taken the story and cleaned it up. Now the Holy Spirit came upon Mary rather than Zeus coming upon Mary. You see, that's all he's saying. <laughs> and yet, having this to read and the church has kept this for nearly 2,000 years now so that we have a record of what these early Christians believed and yet they still insist that Jesus really was a flesh and blood creature. Well, no he wasn't. Justin Martyr, who was a Christian and a Christian apologist, writing in defense of the faith says that what we're talking about is nothing different from what you already believe concerning other mythological gods 
that existed at the time and everyone knew that these were just stories written for our edification, for our youth to learn from. Finally, down in chapter 25, he says, secondly, because we, who out of every race used to worship Bacchus and Apollo and Persephone and Venus, you see, and then he just simply goes on to say that all these stories were written by demons. But their story wasn't. Well, it certainly was. If you believe that all these other stories were written by demons and we are propounding nothing different about Jesus Christ, then demons wrote the story of Jesus too. There's no getting around it. At any rate, this is what he says too. This only be said that these stories were written for the advantage and the encouragement of youthful scholars. That was the intent of all the myths to teach us spiritual eternal truths and all they've done is taken the same stories and put a new name on the figure. There's an interesting book that you can find and you don't have to run out and buy this. This is a old text and it is available right online I believe with uh, the Gutenberg project and other such things so that uh, you can download this the text of this book and read it for for free online but the world's 16 saviors by Kersey Graves there are some errors in here and one big complaint about the book is that you can't go back and look at a bibliography in the back of the book and find out where Kersey Graves got his information from so if someone else others work that he was copying had a slight error in it on one point that uh, that may have made it into the book here so it is not totally perfect but no writing is perfect but I one thing I can tell you is this book has less errors in it than the Bible does and you will be able to see the similarities between all these other solar deities and Jesus Christ they all carry the same message they a lot of these earlier the divine sun gods said and did the same things and that's one thing that I've found studying the New Testament over the years is that there is not one thing not one thing that is original to the New Testament. They claim that God came down and inhabited a, a man, flesh and blood, and he had nothing new to say. He had absolutely nothing new to tell people that, that all these ancient uh, mythical gods had not already said. It, it, it it's hard to believe that this information is out there and yet so many people are fooled into believing that Jesus was in fact a real flesh and blood character but you can read right in just a martyr you have apologists defending the faith and he tells you that this is 
simply not true.